Hey guys, welcome to another video and today I will be sharing with you my 2023 shoe collection. We will be talking about new pieces, OG pieces, shoes that have been resuscitated and reincarnated into newer forms, newer prices, my favorite fashion people online as well. So this is going to be different and this is going to be fun. So for this video, I'll be categorizing the shoes into three parts. So the video journey will be more palatable and easy to digest. So before we begin, my name is Carl at Incarcerating. You can follow me on Instagram. I also encourage you to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. For the first part of this video, we'll be touching on the first category, which is the biker rig. And why is that? Well, Rick's penultimate design language has always been built upon the American counterculture movement, the James Dean, the Tom of Finland, leather obsessed biker imagery. And most of his pieces have biker touches from the brutish use of hardwares, studs, and zippers, the endless explorations of leather, the core of biker fashion is the heart of the brand, I must say. First seen in 2011, this is the Anthem Jack knee-high long boots. So these are the Anthem Jack knee-high boots. I'm so, so happy that I got this. And then it's so beautiful. This is made from cowhide leather and I just love the you know the shine regarding the shoes it's a pull-on boot it has a towering height of 17 inches it reaches just below my knee and I love how how it armorized my legs is there a word for that um, the boots have this snap on details so you can adjust the fit and by adjusting the fit, you can create a different silhouette on the long boots. This is just the perfect genderless boot. Like it is a biker boot, it looks tough, but you can soften it out. You can try to style it in a very tender way. I think that's the beauty of shoes. Like you can just be your own master. This is the OG Rick Owens boots in a really great condition. Like you can tell that it has been worn and that's the label. Yeah. It's just amazing. I, I just love long boots, as you all know. With summer coming, I can still wear this. I mean, I always wear boots. When I say that I wear my boots, I truly wear them to death. They're very, very comfortable. It's a perfect transitional piece. Anthem, as you all know, it means a usually rousing popular song that typifies or identifies with a particular subculture or movement. The name is very appropriate because this is Rick's anthem, the ethos, the DNA. This is his name right here. He has this in a shorter version and the longer version. This is the shorter version, the longer version, the taller brother. And now I have the middle child of <laughs> the, the family. So the family is now complete. Also have the um the wedge version of this one. Yeah, same motif, same kind of um, style language. Before you judge me, let me just tell you that it seems stupid to collect three identical boots. But as a fan of this design, these micro nuances is necessary for, for building different looks. It's not shocking to me when in 2022, he re-released this for the strobe collection. Rick being a, a throwback daddy, he's just recycling his old ideas. And I must say that the newer version is more plasticky, more gummy in a China-made version kind of way. So I prefer this OG one. It showed the frayed edges really well. It's conventionally attractive. I may have a lot of viewers who are into leather shoes. I hope you're enjoying the video so far. We are still on the biker category. I'll be showing you shoes number two. This is the kinkier, more femme fatale version of the Anthem boots. These are the biker heeled boots from the spring summer 2014, Vicious. And as you can see, it's got the stiletto heels. So I'm quite not sure how to navigate stiletto heels but here we are this is a clean biker boots with a round toe with a decent platform it has the snap-on signature rick owens detail 
Thank God there's a zipper and the zippers are the Recogni zippers. It's hard to find a mid-platform boots right now. Everyone's doing like crazy platform boots at the moment. Leather that they use is the blistered leather. So yeah, it's more softer, more casual looking and kind of rugged. That's the um, stiletto heel. And the, the sole is made from, you know, leather. Still fresh AF, smoother than my skin. The heeled boots from Rick Owens was one of his most iconic, so iconic that it has become his signature branding logo for Dark Shadow. As a non-binary shoe obsessed person, it is quite surprising that I'm not a fan of stilettos. One, I've seen too many mishaps. This is just an accident waiting to happen. I remember having my heels snapped off. This stiletto shoe is the typical emblem of the damsel in distress, the image of a woman struggling in heels, the modern day foot binding, the objectification of women through the male gaze. Wow, let's just circle back. I think this one is quite different because this is from Rick Owens. And yeah, this underlines the, the badass woman who wears Rick Owens. So again, this is another OG, the MySpace era of Rick Owens. Now we're moving on to Lamiism. So Michelle Lamy, as you all know, is a powerful force in Rick Owens' narrative. She has made Rick Owens into a powerhouse brand for art lovers, the self-made style icons, typically the ringleader and the muse of all muses. So I have four shoes here. Lo and behold, the Sabo sock boots. There's also a men's version as well, so stay with me. I think these boots are probably what the universe is trying to bestow upon me. So winter is ending soon. I mean, it wasn't even a really cold winter. So I always get imposter syndrome whenever I wear boots like this. Are you even kidding me? Like, you're not a New Yorker, Carl. Like, you live right in front of the equator for Christ's sake. So what are these for? It was first shown in 2013, spring summer island collection. Rick disrupted Paris by using the clogs as his main shoe for the runway. Remember that Rick during that time has been outrageously proposing shoe designs that defy conventions every year. So when he sent out his army of men in clogs, it was a total disruption to his usual post-apocalyptic stance. But there was something optimistic and heroic about men in clog wedges. Fittingly enough, it brings images of sand, summer, and true enough, this can be my Australia appropriate boots. And it's a beautiful blistered leather as well. They've employed Alistane for stretch. And around the, the perimeter of the shoes, they have these nails which is typical for clogs. And of course, it's made from a solid, dense wooden heel. The sock is juxtaposed with a heavy clog platform. Very beautiful. One of my favorite shoes that I picked up. I love it because it embodies the Michelle Lamy aesthetic. And there's so many photos, so many instances that she's worn these shoes. It's more down to earth, it's less aggressive, very benign. I think clogs are harmless footwear designed for people who fear their lives in heels. It's something that your grandma would wear on a Sunday afternoon. And in my 30s, it's so funny that I am trying to dip my hands on this sort of design. Is it me accepting my age? And to be fair, these are super comfortable. Like they're soft and um, pliable. It's literally like a sock on your feet. Despite it being made of a wooden clog boots, it's still light and sensible. So it's not heavy. Now that I have it, I can definitely utilize all the Michelle Lamy styling that I have in my head. She's always been in my mood board. I'm supposed to be pushing boundaries here, but here I am talking about clogs. What's happening? It's a very prosaic design, don't you think? To make matters worse, I have 
the Sabo Mules. These are the more low-key, everyday, more banal chic version of the sock Sabo wedges. And I love it. To simplify it, this is just the mule version of this one. And it's from the menswear, can you believe it? Because it's from the menswear, it has a lower arch. It has a lower platform. Plus they're very comfortable. The answer to, to this perpetual quest for the perfect everyday, less apocalyptic type of dressing. Why did I get this? I've always been envious of Lorenz tractor babel sandals. You wouldn't think you'd need this until you see this in a person on a practical level. I'm not excited about summer, but I can see myself wearing these in like in the summertime when I still want to dress up, but I don't want to be too overly layered. It's got peak toes and it's embellished with, you know, the, the hardware nails that they usually employ for making Dutch clogs. Sabos are either whole foot clogs or a heavy leather shoe with a wooden heel. A work shoe associated with the lower classes during the 16th to 19th century. This guy right here is a peasant shoe for a peasant person like me. Despite it being a, a peasant shoe is back in the early days, Rick Owens was able to reimagine it in a more avant-garde footwear. Well, the price is not peasant-ish. It retails at 1495 I was so lucky to get this because it's been sold on Bessier for a great, great price. And also, Rick re-released this in a more puffy, steroid-ish, chunky version. Yeah, I think that's his formula lately. Like, he edit and repeat. The newer version of the Sabo are so expensive. But I think I like this one better. Well, in the Rick Owens universe, there were only two collections that he utilized a wooden motif. I have someone who will show his amazing clogged shoes from that collection. Hi, I'm Om. So my recent purchase lately has been these Rick Owens sandals from spring, summer, 15, fawn. I've been looking for these shoes for like the past three years and it's basically just like a wood base. And also I feel like these feel very timeless. I've been really into the fawn collection. Also collected the other version of the boot, like the teeth version also. I just like them because they're quite like simple and grand and I guess kind of like aggressive and makes me think about like architecture. I think I'll keep these because even if I get to a point where I don't want to wear them anymore, I still like them as like an art piece. Still on the Lamyism, these are the sock wedge from the Sphinx collection. Ta-da! They're so, so pretty. A really soft suede leather. This is the typical sock wedge boots. And yeah, it has a peep toe and they're very comfortable, even though they're boots. I think it will be perfect with like soft dresses or like soft summery outfits. Perfect for like warmer weather because it doesn't look too heavy. The color is called Forest. So the wedge is from the Sphinx 2015 collection. The sock boots were the answer to, to keep things low key. The very fact that they've reduced, you know, the sock and the boots in one single entity was just preposterous. But see, I still love this Rick Owens wedge boots. I love the fact that it's not too high and it's not too low. And as you can see, it just, it's like a glove on your feet. I mean, once it's on, it blends your skin. It's very soft and comfortable, like you're wearing a camouflage. Like socks, it's like an underwear. A pantyhose condom of a boot that just sits quietly on your feet. I got this because I have the other eccentric version, the crazier eccentric cousin of this one. Being a fan of Rick Owens, you need to have the whole spectrum. It still lends an air of sophistication and elegance. I don't want to sound redundant, but again, Rick re-released this wedge with a velvet fabric and a sculptural heel. See what I said about design circling back. And last but not the least, in the Lamy Yesim category is the Roman wedge. Um, I told Loren not to zoom in my ugly toenails. <laughs> yeah. The real man is characterized by the brutalist panels of leathers like this. 
to hold your tarsals and super bacon slim strap that will hold your toes. It's a perfect blend of brutalism and simplicity of the 90s. And why did I get it? I got this from Japan. It was size 39, like I'm not gonna lie, but oh my goodness, this is like a shoe for a teenager. This is illegally small. If I wear this, my toes would be hanging out. So as you can see, my pinky toe, not a pretty look. Maybe it's just my feet. So if anyone's interested, if you're like a 37, 38, DM me, message me on Insta, email, whatever. But yeah, it's very artsy. I think I may be able to pull it off. The only thing is it's so tight and it's starting to kill my toes now. I'm heartbroken, but I don't want to be toe broken either. We'll be moving on to the kiss era, the Tyronism, the rock glam, sexy kind of Rick Owens that we all are enjoying right now. With regards to this glam shift, we can all blame the, the advent of the pandemic. I think it catalyzed the arrival of his full-fledged exuberance. The glamness was very evident. Like it was like coming out from a dark tunnel and seeing the light. And it was super bright and colorful. One particular piece that was pivotal was the kiss boots. The use of feminine footwear from the brand has always championed the subcontext of empowerment. I think psychology-wise, when you step on a platform or a heeled shoe, definitely brings you into that podium, like you're on a stage. And when you're on a stage, you're the star and everyone sees you. And also with kiss boots, I think the success lies behind repetition. The kiss boots was born during the fall winter 2019. And oh my God, up until now, the boots have been in every collection. So that's like 19 shows of nonstop kiss boot stomping shows. This kiss boots crusade has successfully reframed the dressing concept of men. Can we say that this heel have healed close-mindedness and healed the infirmity that we call the banality of binary dressing? So at first, I wasn't a very big fan of the kiss boots. The design was lazy. It's very prosaic. It's just a boot with a heel. So overrated. I was expecting a lot from a brand who has been creating niche designs for 20 years. And perhaps in my own selfish way, I felt that we could have done more. We cannot expect a man who invented rocket ships to create wooden bicycles, can't we? I want to include my fashion friends in joining the conversation on why they love the kiss boots. And probably this will convince me. Hello, um, I'm Christian Vestepo. Um, Sphinx on Instagram. Carl asked me to make a quick little video about my kiss boots. I have two pairs. I have the white block thigh high and then the black thigh high. I wear them constantly. They're one of my favorite shoes to dress up and dress down. And I don't know, I just, I also love the way the shoes make me feel as a person and when I'm entering a space. I think they're very like modest and humble shoes. The versions I have are just the black leather. Uh, so they're very quiet, but given that they produce height and sound, they do demand and uh, request attention. And being a male presenting human, in heels, it also draws attention. I don't know, I get this incredible sense of confidence and sureness in myself. It just becomes an extension of yourself. And these shoes are very much that. I know I can always wear these and be fine and feel great and be kind of like this confident version of myself that I wish I was always. I also love that they are kind of like a pedestal. They are like a base and a platform for presenting myself. When you find these objects and these things that you are able to surround your life with and show the world who you are, I think that's really beautiful. It's really special and they do end up becoming kind of relics. Like once I can't wear these anymore, I will probably just put them in a display case. Those are my kiss boots. Those are my shoes. They're these beautiful things that make up who I am. Rick Owens kiss boots make me feel empowered. They make me feel strong, otherworldly and alien-esque. I can literally take on the world wherever I am, whether that's on the street shopping, in the club. Whenever I have them on, I feel six inches closer to the heavens. It's a pretty powerful shoe, really. 
I got the OG ones, so the ones I'm wearing now. I wore them down the street and instantly I felt so strong. I didn't care what anyone thought. But at the same time, I knew all eyes were on me. Like whenever you wear them, you know that you've arrived. My favorite pair of Rick Owens Kiss boots are obviously these ones here next to me. They are the matte black pair with the matte black grille as well as the Perspex heel. But also these ones here, I feel like they're a staple. They go with literally any outfit. These are my two kiss boots. I love them both. These are, believe it or not, some of the most comfortable shoes I've ever worn. I, I DJ sometimes here in Las Vegas and I wear them for like six hours straight. No problem. They are so well constructed, like really everything Rick owns does. He is a tailor he knows what he's doing this boot comes with an attitude it just does something to your body first of all you stand very different besides making sure that you're not tripping and falling you just pay attention also where you walk and how you walk and how you choose to walk sometimes so there's a lot of awareness that comes with a design like this and this is not a sneaker you can't just put it on and then you know hammer on your H&M or something which we don't have right Carl um, this one um, was one of my best purchases ever, I have to say. I love the shoe, I wear it a lot. Like today I'm going for a DJ job and I'm gonna wear them for the next six hours. These definitely are an attitude booster. This is how I treat my Rickons. I wear it nonstop, all times, I don't care. It's really a question of styling. That's why we have your channel. This is my favorite Lix Oven Knee High Spartan Waders from Spring Summer 2022 Focus Shane Collection. This is such a beautiful thing from the collection. They gave me such a special power, make me empowering and strong with this gladiatorial lobo boots. They are a statement piece that can complete my look. I ate my words. Let's mop up this mess of feelings, complaints, and doubts. So this is the, the regular kiss boots. The platforms are three inches. The heels are 4.5. And I think if you're a giant of a man, oh my goodness. Just my theory, I think, you know, the grills was Rick's way to lure the men or to masculinize this heel. You know, if you look at it, it resembles a car. Through this car to boot transmutation, the boots became attractive, like boys collecting their cars. And true enough, there are men who are obsessed in collecting the kids' boots. Honestly, these are one of my favorite boots that I don't wear enough because I don't want to thrash it. These are more wearable than the black version, than the women's version, because the arch is not too high, it's not too steep. I remember wearing this in Melbourne and I was like walking around in the city. And I must say that after some sensible practice, you'll be able to wear this with ease. The color is amazing as well. Like It's like a dead yellow, so it's just perfect. It's toned down. and. If I have more money, I, I'd buy different colorways because it has a certain appeal and it kind of grew on me. It will surpass a lot of trends. And yeah, I like it so much. Oh, it's so heavy. Thousands of people have the Kiss boots, right? But this one right here is the Mona freaking Lisa. There's not many people around who has these boots. And I must say that the grills and the cutouts provide an oasis of futurism to the rather basic boots. Yeah, I got the size 40. Luckily enough, I was able to snag this on a really, really good price. This was shown in the Gethsemane collection in 2022. Yeah, that was one of the most enduringly beautiful collection that I've seen from his glam era. The gladiator motif has always been part of the Rick Owens narrative. It can still be scary to wear this because the front part of the boots are quite heavy. It looks like a mechanical robot. They're large and massive, slightly heavy, wearable maybe, a bit wobbly for me, but I'll just have to practice because I, I get really scared with the height sometimes. The panels of the Gladiator are made from stiff leather. If you don't wear socks, 
I think it will kind of scratch and it will rub against your skin. So this would be a perfect spring summer given the fact that it has like ventilation and cutouts. And I think if you don't tie the shaft properly, there are chances that you'll, you know, you'll trip. But in general, I think I like it. Earlier on as well, I was like trying on some clothes and I had to like redo the laces. I mean, that's kind of like the the downside of it. So if you're lazy like me, I think you wouldn't be able to enjoy the experience. But that's like the microscopic flaw of the boots. Um, the stance, the power, and the height that it gives me. So yeah, I'm gonna keep on walking around. So thank you again for watching and I hope you enjoyed this short and quick video. And again, I wanted to thank my fabulous fashion friends online. Don't forget to like this video and please, please, please subscribe. I will see you on my next video. Stay safe and ciao.